Hello, everyone. Welcome. So my name is Dr. Michelle Berkland. I'm the Chief Science Officer here at Peria. And um, a lot of what I do is research, um, do a lot of the botanical formulations, write a lot of the medical literature, um, and meet with you guys once a week to discuss any of your questions. Um, so we've been doing this for a, a little bit now, and you might have cut on that we focus on specific conditions. Um, so about every five weeks, we'll go back to one of the main conditions. And this week is our second session on eczema. Um, in the past, we've done pain relief, uh, fungal infections, dandruff control, nasal congestion last week. So instead of answering a whole bunch of random questions, we focus in on certain conditions. So if you are interested in eczema, please join us for um, this question and answer. We have a lot of great questions for this week as well. I also want to remind all of you, if you are not signed up for our newsletter, please click the link in the description and sign up because you will get announcements that say when our next question and answer session is, what it's on, um, any great events that's going on with our company, and of course, amazing blog posts and health tips written by me and um, other people from our team as well. So um, I'll just wait a second or two for more people to join in. I hope you guys are having a great Friday morning. Um, so yeah, this is our second session. We answered some great questions in the first round. And um, I'll start off with this question um, because we get this occasionally and it says, what makes Puria different than other product lines for eczema? Um, well, first off, it's all natural. It's plant-based and it's highly effective. Um, I feel like that is a rare combination in itself these days to find something that's natural, free of harsh chemicals, and that actually works. Um, so each botanical that we chose for this formulation has been carefully chosen for its therapeutic values and put in, um, so based on different clinical trials we've chosen and how perfectly the formulation works for the mechanisms of action we want to focus in on. So it's very effective and it's scientifically based. Secondly, um, it's a family owned company too. It's not this huge no name corporation. It's a local amazing company and, um, and their passion is to deliver high quality ingredients and great products. So it's, um, it's an amazing company that focuses on not only the quality of the ingredients, but what are the sources? Are the sources sustainable? You know, where do they come from? How is it harvested? All of those things matter here at Puria. Um, thirdly, one of the founders actually suffers from eczema herself, and that is how she developed uh, the mother of all creams, is that she was suffering. She couldn't find any good natural remedy out there. And so she said, okay, wait a second, I'm gonna develop it myself. So um, Purea started based on the need to have highly effective products that were natural and free of all those harsh chemicals. Um, one more thing that I love too is um, both of the sisters are from Taiwan and um, living in the United States. But when they grew up, they grew up with their mothers and their um, grandmothers, teaching them all this amazing traditional wisdom about botanical medicine. So um, you will notice in a lot of the products, there's these great combinations and it's um, influenced by their own background and then backed by science as well. So I think there's a lot of things that make the mother of all creams and especially Puria is so much different than, um, than so many different natural health companies out there from the passion, the quality, um, and the history in the background too. Okay, um, next question here. How long will it take for my rash to go away? Um, so the mother of all creams does a lot of great things for rashes. It helps soothe the skin, it helps reduce inflammation, and it also supports regeneration of the skin. Now, and I think many of you guys might have already heard me talk about this before, it depends on the cause and everybody is different. So saying your rash will go away in X amount of days or X amount of months um, isn't what we do here because we believe each person is different. So. Um, 
so it all depends on the root cause. So for example, let's say you have a rash and it's from something in your home and you haven't figured it out yet, whether it's laundry detergent or a new makeup product or something you're using, of course, figure out what it is and eliminate that, eliminate the cause of the rash. Um, of course, it's a food allergy or something. A lot of um, skin rashes can come up for something like that. And that can be more difficult because finding the food responsible for the allergy might, um, might take some time. And I always uh, advise everyone to go see their naturopathic doctor and um, consider either an elimination diet or further allergy testing for that. Um, so many different types of rashes. If it's a viral, it all depends on, um, you know, getting rid of the pathogen, supporting your immune system in other ways, helping with great antiviral herbs um, and different foods, anti-inflammatory foods, immune boosting foods. So rashes can be from so many different things from topical, um, internal, autoimmune, so here at Peria, we always recommend treating the root cause and also our ingredients are focused on helping soothe those symptoms and help you recover faster. You know, we have aloe, we have olive oil, we have rosemary extract, we have honey in it, we have raw shea butter, so many great ingredients that can help restore the skin uh, while we also recommend treating the root cause. Okay, um, next question. This is a great question too. Does lack of sleep make my eczema worse? Yes, definitely. Not sleeping causes a huge amount of stress on the body and so many different studies have shown that sleep deprivation lowers the immune system. Um, there's actually been a lot of studies too that say that sleep deprivation and inadequate amount of sleep negatively affects the collagen production and impairs your skin integrity. Um, so specifically, there's a study, the Journal of Clinical and Experimental Dermatology, published a study in 2015 that found that chronic poor sleep is directly associated with increased signs of aging and diminished skin barrier function. Um, and diminished skin barrier function is a key factor for eczema as well. So yes, it's been proven time and time again that sleep can greatly affect your skin on many levels, just from um, its appearance on a deeper level with the skin barrier function as well. So, of course, um, as a doctor, I'm going to advise you to get more sleep. And if you have insomnia, some basic tips before you go to sleep, avoid screen time at least an hour before you go to sleep. So no cell phones, um, no computer, no answering email, no watching television. And that hour should be the time where you relax. Um, whether you read a book or you take a bath or you meditate, something to help relax your body during that time. Um, of course, when you're sleeping or in your room, make sure you reduce all the artificial light areas too to help your body and your circadian rhythm rebalance. And avoid drinking coffee after noon as well to help balance out your cortisol levels. So yes, I greatly advise you to get an adequate amount of sleep a night and integrate these different lifestyle changes if it's a matter of anxiety, insomnia, or um, just habits that tend to keep you up at night as well. Okay, um, the next question, can this cream help my facial psoriasis? Yes, um, psoriasis has a lot of underlying variables as well, but uh, the mother of all creams is great at reducing the skin inflammation, supporting the hydration, um, improving the skin barrier function. So all of these things that um, can be symptoms, physical signs of psoriasis, the mother of all creams is great at helping. A lot of the therapeutic actions uh, of the botanicals do a great job at help soothe the skin and support cellular regeneration as well. Um, this is another question I really wanted to answer today because it, um, a customer asked this last week and I think a lot of people have this association too. Um, she asked, can vitamin A cause toxicity? So um, oral vitamin A can definitely cause toxicity. And some studies with large doses of topical, um, highly concentrated typically in pharmaceuticals, 
And there was another study um, with um, cod oil absorption into the skin. Can that build up? Can that cause toxicity? So let me touch on that overall. The mother of all creams has a very minimal dose of vitamin A, but in studies it's shown it's effective. So the transdermal absorption of the vitamin A in the mother of all creams is extremely minimal and will not build up in your body. Um, the percentage of the absorption is not even traceable in the blood serum um, based on studies and the evidence that shows how vitamin A is absorbed into the skin. Um, your skin is an amazing organ and it absorbs many things, but it absorbs at a much smaller level than the rest of the body. So um, it does not, the percentage in the mother of all creams does not accumulate in the body. It is not toxic. Um, we actually chose to use it in the mother of all creams because there's so many great studies that show um, it helps cellular regeneration. It helps decrease inflammation. It supports the epidermal structure of the skin. And it's an effective remedy uh, for psoriasis. It's been shown in studies as a topical application. Uh, so here at Purio, we think it's a great addition. We use a small amount. It is not toxic. It's only going to help your skin in this situation. Um, of course, we always advise you to talk to your dermatologist as well and consult with them, especially if you are using another product um, that has vitamin A in it. Um, but definitely oral, different. It, it all depends on the vitamin and the botanical. There's botanicals that um, if you take orally, they can be toxic, but if you put it on topically, they can greatly improve um, the skin. So, you know, it's, it's keeping that balance and, um, and making sure that everything, you know, is in line and scientifically backed at the dosages within our formulation, which we have. Um, so at Puria, not only do we um, extensively research everything, but we also consult dermatologists. We consult with chemists. Um, we consult with different physicians, um, so many different people. So all of our products are extremely safe and, um, and will not ta cause toxicity. Our entire goal is to give you a clean, healthy alternative to so many different products out there that can cause intense side effects and can cause toxicity. So um, so our goal is quite the opposite of that and to help you on your journey. And I also always want to recommend um, everybody's skin is different. And um, at Puria, we completely understand that and we value that as well. So whenever you are applying a new product, number one, read the label. See if there's any ingredients you might have a sensitivity to. Always patch test an area um, on your skin before you do a full application because you never know how you're going to respond. And we also have a 180 day money back guarantee, no questions asked. So if the product doesn't work for you in any way, you can return it and we want you to find something that'll help you heal on your journey to wellness. Um, so we understand you're all different. We understand that, um, that people react differently to botanicals and things um, that benefit a lot of other people. So know that we have a 180 day money back guarantee. And I also want to remind all of you, if you have questions and if you have comments, leave them below. I will do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. Um, our Facebook live sessions are a combination of a whole bunch of previous questions because we have so many great questions and we condense them and put them into different conditions so we can have you listen to exactly what you are interested in. Um, but if you do have a comment or anything, um, leave it below and I will do my best to get back to you as soon as I can. And also um, be sure to either follow us here on Facebook live so you can catch the next one or sign up for our newsletter as well. And in the future, we're going to have a lot of amazing different interviews with other healthcare professionals to, um, to give you a full approach, to help you with all areas of clean, holistic living. And um, right now we're currently in the formulation process for a great eczema supplement, which is helping with um, the foundational root causes of eczema. So I'm really excited about that. I can't wait till that comes out. And um, I will see you guys next week, but we will focus on a different condition. So be sure to leave any questions and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Take care. Bye.